Hello everyone, it's your next door nurse Florence and you're welcome to another educative time. Today we're going to be looking into the topic asthma, what it is, what triggers it or what causes it, some of the signs and symptoms, the types of asthma, how to recognize an asthma attack and what to do when you or someone close to you is having an asthma attack. Don't go away. Asthma is a long-term inflammatory disease of the airways of the lungs. It is a condition in which the airways, that is, the tubes that carry air in and out of the lungs, narrows and swells, causing reversible obstructions. Asthma often begins in childhood and may be a problem for life. It's not contagious, but it's common in children with parents who have asthma. And it is generally worse during cold seasons. Asthma that starts before the age of 12 years is more likely due to genetic influence, while onset after age 12 is more likely due to environmental influence. So asthma is thought or said to be caused by a combination of genetic and environmental influence. Asthma has a strong genetic component. This means that people with a family history of asthma are more likely to have it. But one can still develop asthma even if they are not genetically predisposed to it. Environmental causes of asthma include exposure to air pollution, that is unclean or harmful gases in the air, and allergens. Allergens are substances that causes an allergic reaction or allergy. An allergy is a substance or reaction that affects only certain persons. When things they are sensitive or allergic to are breathing, eating, injected or touch their skin. Other environmental factors or causes include exposure to cigarette smoke, burning bushes or fields, exposure to pesticides, cleaning agents and disinfectants, exposure to dust, mites, cockroaches, animal fragments or chicken feathers, exposure to pollens from certain flowers or grasses. Other potential triggers include personal history of hay fever or allergic rhinitis, which causes continuous sneezing, watery eyes and itching, often in response to pollens. Viral respiratory illness, such as respiratory syncytial virus, RSV, common in children. This virus affects the lungs and the breathing passages. It is most common during the cold seasons. Obesity. The fat tissues constrict the airways, making less room for the lungs to expand. Some people notice that their asthma becomes worse as they gain weight. Nervousness and worry may also bring on an asthma. Symptoms of asthma include coughing, especially at night, wheezing, shortness of breath, chest tightness, pain or pressure. In children, asthma often starts with a cold or asthma begins with a cold. Signs of cold or allergies include sneezing, runny nose, nasal congestion, sore throat and headache. Understanding what type of asthma one has can result in better treatment and quality of life. The types of asthma include but not limited to allergic asthma. This type of asthma is triggered by allergens. Not everyone that is allergic has asthma and not everyone that has asthma has allergies. Non-allergic asthma, as the name implies, it is triggered by factors other than allergies and these factors include viral respiratory infections, stress, exercise, irritants in the air, drugs or some food addictives and weather conditions. Exercise-induced asthma or exercise-induced bronchial constriction. This is triggered or caused by physical exertion which makes it difficult for the individual to breathe. Adult onset asthma. This is showing signs of asthma as an adult. This might be as a result of exposures to the triggers or causes of asthma mentioned earlier for the first time. Nocturnal asthma. These are symptoms of asthma that gets worse at night. It can make sleep impossible and leave one feeling tired and irritable during the day. Occupational asthma. People with this type of asthma usually walk around chemical fumes, dust, or other irritants in the air. There are four levels of asthma. One, 
mild intermittent asthma. Symptoms are fewer than two times a week. Two, mild persistent asthma. Symptoms are more than two times a week, but no more than once a day. Three, moderate persistent asthma. The individual experiences symptoms every day. Four, severe persistent asthma. There is constant symptoms. A person can prevent asthma by one, avoid eating or breathing things that bring on attacks. Two, the house or workplace should be kept clean. Three, keep pets and other animals outside. Four, air bed spreads in the sun. Five, drink at least eight glasses of water every day to keep the mucus loose. Six, do not smoke cigarettes if you have asthma because it damages the lungs even more. Persons with asthma may improve when they move to where the air is cleaner. Asthma attack is an episode in which bands of muscle surrounding the airways are triggered to tighten. This tightening is called bronchiospasm. During the attack, the lining of the airways becomes swollen or inflamed and the cells lining the airways produce thicker and more mucus than normal. All these factors that is bronchiospasm, inflammation and mucus production causes symptoms such as wheezing, difficulty in breathing, coughing, shortness of breath and difficulty performing daily activities. An asthma attack may be caused by eating or breathing things to which the person is allergic. For example, pollens from certain flowers or grasses, specific foods like shellfish, moldy blankets or clothes and certain medicines. Symptoms of an asthma attack includes 1. Hissing or wheezing sound, especially when breathing out. 2. When the individual breathes in, the skin behind his collarbones and between his ribs may suck in as he tries to get air. 3. If the individual cannot get enough air, his nails and lips may turn blue and his neck veins may swell. Other symptoms of an asthma attack include coughing that won't stop, very rapid breathing, chest pain or pressure, tightened chest and neck muscles called retractions, difficulty talking, trouble sleeping, pale sweaty face, and feeling of anxiety or panic. There may be decrease or changes in lung function as measured by a peak flow meter. Asthma attack could be mild or severe. The mild ones are generally more common. Usually, the airways open up within a few minutes to a few hours. While the severe asthma attacks are less common but last longer and require immediate medical help, it is important to recognize and treat even mild asthma symptoms to help prevent severe episodes and keep asthma under better control. Note that not every person with asthma has the same symptoms in the same way. One may not have all these symptoms or may have different symptoms at different times. Asthma symptoms may also vary from one asthma attack to the next, being mild during one and severe during another. So what do you do when someone close to you is having an asthma attack? You sit the person up on the bed or the person can sit on the chair. Remain calm and be gentle with the person. If the person's asthma symptoms gets worse inside the house, you should take the person outside to where the air is cleanest. Give a lot of water to drink. This loosens mucus and makes breathing easier. Breathing hot water vapors may also help. And this is how it is done. Sit on a chair with a bucket of hot water at your feet. Place a towel or blanket over your head and the bucket to catch the vapors as they rise. Breathe in the vapor deeply for 10 to 15 minutes. Repeat several times a day. Strong coffee or black tea can help relieve an asthma attack by opening up the airways and improving lung function. Because caffeine has a chemical similar to theophylline, a medication for the treatment of asthma. But note that caffeine and black tea is not a replacement for approved treatments. Only use if you do not have any medicines. Seek medical help immediately so that medications and or inhalers can be given to the individual or to you.
so guys give me a thumbs up if you find this content helpful and useful kindly subscribe click on the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when i upload new videos do drop your comments in the comment section below and i will attend to them i'm still your next door nurse and i'm just a knock away i love you guys see you in my next video which causes continuous which while onset after age 12 is more while on while onset after age 12 is more likely to